So I am so inspired today to be able to welcome Representative Deborah Lekanoff, our legislative champion in the state of Washington for a Washington Green Amendment. Representative Lekanoff, thank you so much for joining us today. So can you start off by telling us just a little bit about yourself and what brought you to run for political office and how long you've served? I'm happy to. So I'm Representative Deborah Lekanoff. I'm an Alaska native who lives in Washington state. I'm just this little clinket girl who grew up in a small town in Southeast Alaska. And Maya, when the tide was out, the table was set. My whole being of growing up in Southeast Alaska was wrapped around the natural resources, the environment, and around the Native American people who look like me and sound like me. So when I decided to run for office, Maya, I knew that I was gonna bring something unique to Washington State. And that was making sure that every decision that I made on the floor of the People's House was gonna recognize that the Washingtonians of the past and the Washingtonians of the future should all have the right to a cool and clean environment, to love the resources, and to honor the first Native Americans of their state. And the Green Amendment does that for me. So can you tell us a little bit about what are your primary concerns right now when it comes to the environment? You know, today we're in Washington State and we're facing one of the hottest days recorded in history. In downtown Seattle alone, it was 108. These are incredible climate change heat attacks upon our state. Our salmon are boiling in the waters, our cedar are, are wiltering in the heat, our clams, our shellfish, our birds, and our humans are all suffering from this climate change impact that we're facing today. As our young youth have told us, our house is on fire. And in Washington state, we literally are on fire. The impact of climate change upon Washington state really impacts us as the first people of Washington state. The Native Americans have said that this time is coming, that mother earth will call back to us and, and call us to action and say, it is time for us to start making good policy decisions, investing in our budget programs to invest in natural resources in the, in the environment, and learning how to build for the future, which is, as we put it, green infrastructure, green infrastructure, and green infrastructure. And that really is, for me, something that I'm focused on, not only at the congressional level, but at the state level. How do we build a better Washington state for the future? So that's a per perfect segue to the next question, which really is, can you just touch briefly on how important a healthy environment is to Washington communities and to its economy? You know, today we look at Washington state and Washington state is full of di a diverse color of people and cultures. We hear about this amazing word that's risen up from the ashes in the past five to six years, and that's justice. Whether it's environmental justice, racial justice, environmental justice, we're all looking at creating a place where Washingtonians can really thrive and grow based on everyone who's looking to call this place home, which again, I go back to the first Native Americans. Washington State's economy has an opportunity to really sustain their values, investing in green infrastructure, reducing carbon emissions, investing in the Climate Commitment Act, and really looking at taking the revenue that we're uh, producing in Washington state and investing in those communities who've been front and centered for so many years. Our people of color, our underrepresented communities, those are the communities that we know are facing some of the most detrimental environmental impacts. We're not only looking to build green in Washington state, but we're investing in those communities of color so our Washingtonians can have environmental justice, racial justice, and climate change justice, all wrapped up in one word, justice. So given that, why did you decide to champion the passage of a Washington Green Amendment that recognizes and protects the rights of all people to a clean and healthy environment? You know, Washington State grew up very fast and furious through a time when we relied upon our resources to be able to sustain our economies. Washington State's growing every day with new technology, though. 
not only are we facing a new technology with Google, Amazon, Microsoft, but we're also looking at investing in climate change. The Green Amendment not only recognizes that we can invest in a green workforce, but we can invest in a green industry and a green infrastructure. We can restore the resources that really build up who Washington State is. The Green Amendment to me gives me the opportunity to give back to Washington State, which is given to me, which is a home. Everyone who looks like me, who sounds like me, everybody who values the water, the resources, everybody who relies on a prosperous economy, relies on a good education, good health care, all can wrap their arms around a Green Amendment because it really is building a Washington State for generations to come. So how will having a Green Amendment help you achieve environmental justice in Washington State? Washington State has thrived upon the mighty salmon. For me, when the, when the salmon are healthy, it produces cool and clean water, a healthy environment, a strong economy, healthy people, a healthy infrastructure. Because with a healthy salmon, you have everything that's, per, that's, that's healthy around you. I think that if we, if we look at incorporating a Green Amendment, it provides the very foundation of what's needed. And that is a cool and clean environment, jobs for all people who call this place home, and future generations to come can come and walk along the cedars, walk along the beaches, breathe clean air, drink cool and clean water, and our resources will be abundance. And that's what really makes up who Washington State is. So to those who say environmental rights don't belong in the Constitution's Bill of Rights alongside speech, property, gun, and civil rights, what would you say? I believe everybody deserves a healthy environment. Everyone deserves to drink cool and clean water. Everyone deserves an opportunity to breathe clean air. Everyone should be able to be, eat the abundance of resources. Whether you're eating a potato or whether you're eating a salmon, you deserve that opportunity to live that quality of life. Having it robbed from you and for the generations from now isn't fair. It also isn't who we are as, as Washingtonians. We stand up and fight for climate change. We stand up and fight for good jobs. We stand up and fight for the next generation. And that's what every Washingtonian should be doing, is investing in a future of Washington State that every child can look back and say, thank you. Thank you, Governor Inslee. Thank you, our congressional members. Thank you, Representative Lakanov. Thank you, Maya, for raising it forward. Thank you for making sure that my children's children get to call and live Washington, Washington home, just as we were able to do. That is so powerful and so inspirational. So I'm now sure that we've got a whole audience of Washingtonians who want to rise up and help you seek and secure constitutional environmental rights by securing a Washington Green Amendment in the year 2022. So what can and should people be doing if they are interested in advancing a Washington State Green Amendment? What's your advice to them? My advice is take a look at my website, Deborah Lekanoff at leg.law.gov. Go and check out my little page there. Learn about the Green Amendment. Educate yourself. Maya, go to, we can go to your website and we can learn more. It's not a heavy lift, folks. It's just doing the right thing. And sometimes doing the right thing can just advance us more to a better and prosperous future. We have an opportunity to build better tomorrows. We should take advantage now before we know that it's too late. Thank you. So Send your letters. I know, right, Maya? It's so exciting. Like, send letters in. Take time to talk to your neighbor. Take time to talk to the person in line about it. Go talk to your teacher about it. Send us emails. Make phone calls. Don't be afraid to do the right thing because that's why I ran for office. I wasn't going to be the one who's going to have others making decisions for me. I wasn't afraid for run, to run for office and make decisions for myself. I just want to thank you, Representative Lekanoff. Thank you for your work on behalf of communities. You are a true champion for, for the health and safety of present and future generations. And because of you, Washington's going to have a Green Amendment in no time. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Thank you so much. Have a great day.